Namaskaram. Hello, everyone. I can't see. There's no light, but I can see. Like I can sense that there are people. So thank you so much for coming. Um, so this is my first. Uh, it's a very overwhelming feeling. The kind of response that people have after they've seen Hippy. Um, I have seen so many messages and so many reviews and so many people walking up congratulating for the good job. I think that just means everything because uh, it's uh, it's so much more than any award. It's so much more than any reward. It's it's pure connect. It's how people feel, and they only say such things when they feel so. Even when I was walking out of the theater, uh, I, Kartikya, JD, sir, we went to so many theaters together. And even when we were walking out, people were genuinely connecting. It was like, okay, we've seen a good film and we'd like to meet the star cast. It's like that. So thank you so much for that. I needed to say this to everyone who's watched the film. To everyone who's not watched the film, you have to please go watch Hippie. Um, a few things about my take on this story. So we've had, uh, we've told everybody that Hippie is a young film and Hippie is about this guy and there are girls in the film and it's a love story and there's comedy of course. There's Venla Kishore Garu, there's J.D. Chakravarti sir. Um, it's a great, great team to work with. But what do you expect in the film? Um, I'm going to maybe tell you a little bit to kind of increase your curiosity towards the film. So you go there, watch it with your family. With your family actually reminds me of the fact that uh, uh, some places we've got in an A certificate and people are like, oh, maybe it's just a young film, so um, there would be, it's supposed to be probably not seen with your family and stuff. But I watched it with my family. I'm sure you can watch it with your family. Uh, the film, it's not just about, it's not just, it's not about visually having something that makes it or gives it an A. It's about so many, um, we, so it's a, it's a very contemporary film. It's about uh, today's date of uh, love stories. It's about how relationships are now. It's a take on living relationships. It's not a story just about living relationships. It's about, see, there was a time where we had, uh, we had love stories like Romeo and Juliet, He, Rancha, Laila Majnu. But that was a different space. That was a different scenario. It was um, a different segment and different era where people lived in experiencing and having their own set of issues. Now we have different issues. Now we have issues where, see, somebody can just walk up to somebody and say that I love you. How do you prove that, that you love that person? Uh, understanding, compatibility, can you bear with each other during thick and thin? Can you, um, can you really stand by each other? It's about so many other things. And hippie is that love story. Hippie is a love story that I think Every man and woman and girl and boy can connect with in today's date and time. I am very, very sure at least there is one bit or two bit, maybe the entire film, that everyone can relate with and enjoy. I say relate with not because you must have experienced something um, replicated in your life. I say relate with because it's something that, that happened, something that you see or if you've not experienced and somebody very close to you must have. But it's not something that's like, a very idealistic situation that love stories are supposed to be this way. It's not like that. And that's why we call Hippie a young film, because it's a young, fresh take on today's love stories. And, and this is the first time that it's, it's presented in a very different way. Um, Krishna sir has had his own thread of uh, uh, representing love story in this film in a certain way that it does reach out to people in a very, very relatable way. And I have personally enjoyed, I mean, I've not been in a relationship like that, but I could relate to that. So I'm sure everyone else can and everyone else would. And that's why I want you to watch. It's a very crisp, uh, I mean, there is no moment in the film that I thought was, or anybody in the theater that kind of walked out was being like, oh, that was missed, or this was missed. It wasn't like that at all. And um, personally, coming to what I play, as the leading lady of the film, my role is called Amukta Malida. For everyone who's seen, I'm reintroducing myself. And everyone who's not seen, I'm introducing uh, to kind of make you guys believe that this is something that you need to go out and watch. Uh, Amukta Malida is a very, very interesting role. 
and I don't say that because I'm playing it. I say that for so many reasons. She rides bike, but she's not a tomboy. Um, she wears clothes that any ultra modern girl would, but it doesn't mean that she doesn't have the samskars that she needs to, the sanskriti that's not lost. Um, she has a very clear thought about relationships, love, and life, but doesn't mean that her approach towards it is indecent. Um, she's very, very opinionated. She's, she's sometimes saying things that you don't say to people you love, but she doesn't mean to hurt anybody. And because of these layers and um, complexities in her role, I think makes her very, very interesting. Um, it, it doesn't, see, there can be roles where, oh, you're a nice person. Okay, you're a nice person. So you do everything that a nice person does. But this role, it, it really takes you to a journey where you feel like I started this film, I started watching this film, oh, I see this girl, I see her transform, I see her ups and I see her downs. And that's why the amount of connectivity to her increases. And that's why I think that I could relate to her um, even when I'm not really like her. And I feel that's the fundamental truth and that's something that really excited me as an actor. And I feel very happy to have this opportunity that I got to do this. Um, Hippie is actually that film that I don't just mean to promote because I'm here and I don't mean to just promote it because it's my film and I've done it. Uh, I need to promote it because I feel this is something that people should watch. This is something that I would watch irrespective of not being a part of it. For instance, I mean, if I think that, what if Hippie was a film that I was not a part of, and it was just another film coming on TV, would I watch it? Would I go to the theaters to watch this film? I would. I would come out very fondly of the theater, having everything the way it is. I'd be like, this is something I've enjoyed this film. It's highly entertaining, but it's not, uh, it's not entertaining that it, it doesn't, entertainment doesn't mean that you lose, uh, story or you don't have a thread or you don't know what you're saying. It's a very meaningful story. It represents and deals with everything that's going on in today's date and time. And at the same time, it's put and presented and framed in a way that doesn't make you get bored at all. So if you watched it, great. If you've not watched it, please go watch. What was the best part of your journey? The best part was Getting to do, first of all, um, to be able to debut in Telugu film industry with such a strong and powerful role, such an incredible crew and cast to, to be able to work with, that is definitely the best part of me being able to do this film. The second, of course, the story and my role. I already love Amukta Malita, and I don't say that because I've gotten to play her. I say that because it's such a woman. I'd like to look at her and I'd like to watch her just so much more. And that, that definitely excites me and satisfies me as an actor. I feel like, okay, I've done this, please watch it because I like it and I know you guys will like it too. How do you manage the language? Do you understand the exact meaning of a dialect? I understand of my dialogues, of course. I got them translated in English and I understood everything. So every if you see, I mean, um, I memorized all my lines, like literally memorized them. There are 15, 20 lines, I memorized them all. I mean 15, 20 lines in a stretch at a few places. Throughout the film, I have so many lines, and I knew that I could have not connected with the role if I didn't know my lines. Because, um, see, if I'm expressing and you don't understand what I'm saying, then me expressing is pointless, right? And for me, it was equally important to understand if I can do the lines, because I need to get the expressions right. For me to, in fact, get involved and get connected, it's very, very important for me to have that command on the language. Of course, I can't learn Telugu overnight, but I could do my lines in a week, so which I did. I know what my line means. Have you learned bike riding? I did for the film, yes. I learned bike riding. It was experience. Krishna sir, of course, <laughs> he is the captain of the ship and he is mentor to just all of us and everyone on set. I think, you know, he's just so chilled out otherwise when you don't want him to mentor you. But he's just so much right there. Okay, do you want to understand something? Okay, let's have a, you know, you could see that shift from a casual person to hi, how are you? To, yeah, yeah, something serious, what do you want to know? <laughs> so you, you see that shift in him when you're working and that's nice in a way because he doesn't, 
he doesn't uh, make the whole atmosphere like you're walking, walking, walking. It's light and casual, but you could still have a very serious conversation whenever you want to. So it's good. With bike, I actually had an incident. We were shooting in Sri Lanka, and I burnt my right leg. So we, did, so obviously, you can't have restricted like the entire area where people can't move. So people were hooting because I was on the bike, and there's so many bikes and other people like tourists and everyone. They started hooting, and you know, it, it was another scenario altogether. We did that whole round because we didn't really know where it was heading. It was just so much of makeshift. So we did that. The moment I stopped, and that instinct when I thought I was damn cool, I lost the balance. And it kind of burnt my uh, right leg. And it's really big. I still have the mark. But the immediate next minute, um, I looked at Brinda Master. We were shooting for the song. She was there. Krishna Sir was there. They were looking at me like, we have one more week to shoot. How is this going to happen? So I looked at them. I looked at Brinda Master. And I was like, let's do the shot. So she was like literally looking at me. And she's like, I love the way you talk. I was like, I mean, I can't be with my foot this way and not shoot at all. But oh god, we had all kind of dance after that, everything. So quite an experience, but good one. We're through. Thank you so much. Thank you for coming.